Hello everyone and welcome to the new video on the channel. A lot of you asked us if we have to look at the scum and is it changed a little bit from its old release when it was in 2018. The game was really spoken a lot back then. There was some ups and downs and right now in 2022 is scum really a good game? Can you still play it? Is there a player still? We're gonna find out in this video. It's gonna be a quite a short review but really spot on because in past we actually did a scum review, a longer one. So this one will be just to check over and to be confident if the game change or not. Anyway, before we dive deep into the world of scum in 2022, I would like to ask you if you're not subscribed to our channel, do it. If you are already a subscriber then check if you're pressing the notification button because it really helps us a lot. We're missing some views on the latest videos. Anyway guys, let's dive deep into the gameplay and review for Scum in 2022. So Scum is an open world survival game published by Game Pirates. Scum is a survival game like no others to be honest. When it was released in 2018, it was games like Dead Side, Daisy still popping. There is a lot of cool things going on in the game. Scum has found a niche for itself after the far left of the DayZ, focusing on experience of surviving, offering the players one of the most comprehensive metabolism simulators in existence. You're eating too fast, you're eating too much, you're eating a little bit too much food, then it can result your playing becoming silky, then you cannot move, but then at the same time the bullet will just drops you and you will not lose that much blood or whatever, there is a lot of details acquired to your body of your character and it's actually super cool. This is why the game was super popular back then, because it was unique. When the games were focusing back then in survival of, well, how big is the map, how cool is the map, what is inside, Scum had both, but then it had a big focus on what's actually the body you're playing with. Scum takes its even fuser by requiring players to consess the correct amount of vitamins, not less, to stay healthy. While eating dozens of candy bars, it might fill you up and you will increase yourself. You will be, well, it's a huge, 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 huge. Talking about, let's say, something as the graphics. The graphics in the game are actually really good. There has not been a lot of updates in terms of graphics from the release in 2018, but since then, it's actually, it's actually still great. The audio is pretty average in the game. I would say there is still something they could work on, but the game is being updated as far as we know and we see by the log. So there might be some future updates for this thing, well, hopefully. Well, we all seen that DayZ actually fixed a lot of things later on. But anyway, let's move on. Overall, the graphics, I would say still a 9, but this is not the main topic here. Uh, actually, I forget to mention one interesting thing. This game also offers you something unique for the survival game as cannibalism. If your survivor is very hungry, you don't need to think twice. If you see the dead body, well, you can find the meat there. Anyway, the multiplayer is really good in this game. You have a PvE, PvP and PvP and PvP also mixed servers. I'm also played on the PvE server now because it's really hard to find people, but you can find a lot of interesting persons on the PvE servers also. What I mean by that? Let's say you're finding uh, some zombies to fight off and then you have a healthy amount of players that are trying to find a server which won't be an issue. You can make clans in these servers too and invite your friends. You can find trade groups also. It's just people wanting to give you a help hand, let's say. Scum has remained continually developing since its early access launch in 2018, and while progressing the slowdown early in the months of COVID pandemic, it appears now it's backing on force. There was a lot of reviews back in March and it's still being updated. What makes this release cadence to all the impressiveness how featured packed these major updates are. I would say it's definitely worse to try an open world survival game like Scum even in 2022. Yeah, there is part of it sucks with the lower population and the majority of the remaining players, some of them are actually quite toxic, but I found myself really cool players in PvE servers. Hardcore PvPers, yeah, they're just all around, they try to shoot you all day long and it will be quite hard for the new player maybe to get in. But if, if you overcome that, if you're gonna get yourself interested in this kind of game, you can find yourself fun in it. Maybe you'll get lucky, you're not kind to find a lot of, well, Dickheads. In the first minutes you're playing, and then it will be really cool because you can do a lot of crafting, base building, whatever, be kills and boats, whatever. It's all cool. There are those PVE servers that are quite cool, 
like I said, but often you find half of them are quite with restrictive rules. Especially when a certain players are banned and twist the rules basically to grief or something like that. Just mostly body to body. So, I would say that Scum is honestly... But at this point in 2022, at summer, I would say Scum gets still something like 6.5. The game getting updated, there is players, it's not till that yet, but there is more to come. The game needs to work on. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.